that's the bell, and that starts this contest here between Tessa Blanchard and Sassy Stephanie. And now Tessa at the same time has also been traveling the world literally. She's turning heads everywhere she's going in the world of professional wrestling. And having her here in WSU is such an amazing feat for our roster. But you're right, taking it straight now to Sassy Stephanie. She's still very young in this business too. I believe what, only her second or third year possibly? Correct. Yeah, not even the first, yeah, but, well, not even the first full year done, I believe, but Tessa Blanchard, third generation, she has a lot to live up to. She has the weight of the world on her shoulders, and that's got to be eating at her every time she steps in the ring. Sassy Steph's got to take advantage of the first mistake Tessa makes. Use her experience to her advantage. Right now, Sassy Stephanie working on that arm as Tessa Blanchard earning the respect from this crowd. Back elbows get Tessa off and now caught with an arm ringer, oh, yanking hard on the elbow. And on the shoulder of Tessa Blanchard is Sassy Stephanie. Absolutely, what she's doing right now is she's trying to make it so Tessa can't use her shoulder, which is a lot of what her offense is based off of. That flying clothesline she uses won't be, able, won't be as effective if her shoulder's damaged. Right now, Sassy Steph looking for an escape. She couldn't do it with a reversal. Instead, she goes right to the elbows. And into that master lock. Shade to Billy Jack Haynes. What, what is the term that... Woman's men is Tessa Blanchard using her power to escape and roll her right back up. Too close to the ropes though, maybe. No. He just likes to kiss the ass of whoever is That's well, what you're supposed to do well, in life. If, if you had the ear of Sassy Stephanie, what is one thing you would like to see different? Nothing. Perfect. Um, I would like to see less oh, Sassy man. Stephanie in the ring. Dropping her on that, her head with that Japanese arm drag, following it up with another arm drag. And again, you might get your wish, Dan. Yeah, the way Tessa Blanchard is, and if Lufisto has anything to say about that, because Lufisto has made it clear she has her eye on Sassy Stephanie. Yo, Sassy Steph, part of the killing of Pegaboo a few months back, busting up Lufisto, requiring her to get stitches. Sassy Steph's not in a safe spot whenever Lufisto's in the building. There comes Blanchard, head of steam, driving that elbow right across the chest. He's going right back in on the attack with those uppercuts, and now whipping her across, but Sassy Stephanie reversing it. Nice agility by Tessa, but she gets caught coming back in. The inexperience right there. She didn't know how to follow it up. Catching Sassy off guard. Forearm to the face of Tessa Blanchard. Now being backed up into the ropes. Huge chop. Look at Sassy Steph just taking her time. Dismantling Tessa Blanchard. She's in control, she's setting the pace, she signs our checks. She has the whole package. And here it is, here's the office now, Get involved. Hey, she knows how to delegate. Well, a great leader, it's what a great leader does. Isn't that right, Dan? You're already kissing her ass too? Hey, I know who's, I want a pay raise. Don't we all, don't we all. Well, if she wins this matchup, she'll be in a good mood coming out of it. Maybe she'll give you that raise you need. If she had her way, she'd probably give us Tessa Blanchard's paycheck. Hey, however it gets done. Sassy Steph's motto in the ring. That's why she has the office out there to help her, to aid her in victories and paperwork. Now sends her off into the ropes. Ducks a clothesline attempt as Tessa. Oh! Russian leg sweep. Tessa, though, coming back to life. That cover, but only getting a two count. Getting her second win now, and there's that clothesline we were talking about, leaping through the air. Oh, look at that. Impressive offense from Tessa Blanchard. Going for a cover here, one, two. Only getting a two count. Two hard clotheslines and a neck breaker. Tessa Blanchard, though, taking time to question the official's count. Not immediately following up on Sassy Steph. She's got to watch out. Wait a minute, Amber Rodriguez is up from the office. 
just a stand-in. The office expanding. Well, the problem is Tessa Blanchard is focused on the office way too much here. But right behind, look who was standing right behind her the whole time on the yeah, other Madame side. Mademoiselle Michelle coming off that cross body. Barely getting a leg up, but got it, but only getting a two count. Just that distraction by the office, not allowing Tessa Blanchard to hit that cross body sooner is what kind of broke it up. Oh, no. Impressive Bulldog here, go for a cover again. One, two, and three this time. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Tessa Blanchard. You gotta call that an upset. That is an upset. Tessa Blanchard taking out the offense here tonight. I think it's matched. Wait a, wait a minute. What? I, I, think he's looking at I think we saw the office saying something about her boots. Her what? Or that she took Amber's boots. Wait. What? Oh, oh, wait a minute. Is that drugs? What is it? Grant's nuts. That's what Rochelle is putting in her boot. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at the ringside. The camera's not catching. Look at the ringside. Look who's coming into the ring. Lufisto is in the ring. She can't be out here. She's telling Kevin Keenan what's up like we are here. Well, the, the, uh, the decision's official. You can't. Ladies and gentlemen, this match will be restarted. Well, Sassy Stephanie too busy eyeing up Lufisto. And here comes Tessa Blanchard going right for that arm. Has it? Has her. She Double can get this chicken wing. It's over. Into it. Hooks it. Interesting pinning combination here. And Ladies she wins and it again. Your winner, Tessa Blanchard. I, Stephanie wasn't ready. Thank you for watching. To all those who listen to my music and follow my words, I would like to express my feelings to you. Introducing first to my right, she is the challenger. Fighting out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, this is Cherry Bomb! Stop. It's their fault, they're egging her on. And her opponent, to my left, fighting out of Dayton, Ohio. She is the current reigning, defending champion, the wounded L. Ronin. Even though Cherry Bomb is the resident mean girl, quite frankly, I can't stand it when she shrieks. The one story that's kind of been quietly building over the last few months is Cherry Bomb's streak of victories. Yeah, while Lefisto has been successfully defending that championship, Cherry Bomb has just been racking up win after win and getting herself into contention for that championship. And tonight could be her night. She would be the greatest woman to ever hold that title. Well, let's 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 not get ahead of ourselves. A nine-sport athlete when she was in high school, a former Miss North America. That's over three countries she represented with that. Where are you getting these stats from? I make them up, but the point is they're all factual. And well, the Cherry Bomb feels that she's way better than everyone. She has quite the task ahead of her, and she's facing off against Lufisto. Yeah, Lufisto might be the best female competitor in the history of this sport. Easily, like you said, since Mercedes in this company. Oh. Shut her up! If they didn't egg her on, she wouldn't put out her battle cry. Oh my. Oh, it's gonna be a scary day if she wins championship gold. We'll never, Why? Hear, we'll never hear the end of it. She's the second best looking person in her relationship. Is that your opinion? Oh, that well, whatever, right now, right now, it's getting... Oh, God, test of strength with streaking. We've got these headphones on, and it's, like, not blocking the shrieks. Yeah, you know what else is not being blocked? The pain in the arm of Lefisto at the moment. Well, right now, she just rolled through it. Going for a quick pinning combination. That could be it. Only getting a two count. 
Look at this, right into a... Well, here's a reason this streak is Lufisto pretty much bending her in hand. Yeah, half crab also wrenching on the neck right now. Cherry Bomb's neck, lower back and leg being worked over by Lufisto. And now Lufisto in control of Cherry Bomb. Oh, maybe not. As Cherry Bomb's fighting back with those fists. Side headlock applied, takedown. All the fans would have to do is cheer Cherry Bomb and she wouldn't let out those streaks. Why would they cheer her when she spent months and months, you know, being, you know, picking apart them? I don't know. Talking about how fat we are and whatever. Well, you know what? You should lose some weight. But back to the neck goes Lefisto once again on Cherry Bomb. The neck, it, you know, if you have a painful neck, every move you go for is going to cause damage to yourself. It's a smart strategy by the champion. Well, there's Cherry Bomb rolling through, getting a side headlock applied, slipping out of it though. Now front face lock. Wrenching on her now. She can wrap her legs around Lefisto. It'd be a guillotine. And that might spell the end of the title reign for Lefisto. A little bit shorter to turn on that low center of gravity powering out of this right now. And into a hammer lock. Look at Lefisto nearly bending that arm in half and wrenching on the shoulder, driving her elbow to the lower back and dropping Cherry Bomb down. Yeah, she's grounding Cherry Bomb. And now those knees in the midsection. Look how meticulous Lufisto is, picking apart about four different body parts right now. And she's catching her breath while she works over Cherry Bomb and stretches out the body of the challenger. Although I guess these shrieks might uh, cause Lufisto to go crazy. Well, I think Lufisto likes these shrieks. These shrieks of pain from Cherry Bomb, not these she's temper tantrum shrieks. She's a demented woman, if that's the way she feels. Well, she has competed in Tournament of Death. Right now, Jawbreaker by Cherry Bomb. Able to break the hold and regain the advantage with a nice snapmare takeover, slowing down the pace herself. Trying to strategize as she works over the champion, making the champion carry all her body weight. The crowd firmly behind Lufisto, rallying behind the wounded Al Ronan. I don't know who that means. That's what she calls herself. Still, still mourning the loss of Pegaboo as she chases Cherry Bomb to the ropes. The death of Pegaboo caused by the office here. Nick Papa Giorgio trying to stop that violent side of Lufisto for the sake of Cherry Bomb and North America. Oh no, she just kicked the rope. Right into her upper thigh. Oh, God! A vicious shriek where, of her own. Where does she get off? No! Oh, my Lord. Saline's going to leak out. Doubly. No, they both got a hold. The cherry bombs were going to be exploding all over the flyer skate zone. Yeah, get them. <laughs> Oh, Nick Papa Giorgio. Oh, but there we go. Let's get in serious again as Lufisto using that thumb to the eye to gain the advantage. On oh, both women not going down those shoulder blocks. Oh, oh, missing with that super kick. Best super kick ever misses. Into a rolling her up, only getting a two count. Oh, kick to the side. Lufisto using Cherry Bomb's miscue to try and retain the championship. But since then, she's just been right on the attack once again to the back of Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb is taking quite the beating here and just keeps going as Lufisto picking her apart and now into a suplex, into a pinning combination, but only getting a two count. And Lufisto once again slowing down the pace of this matchup. She wants to make sure next time she tries to hit something with a little bit of impact, it's going to be enough to put Cherry Bomb away. Systematically trying to put Cherry Bomb away, looking for a tap. Look how far victory. back she's bending those arms, nearly touching her knuckles together, trying to dislocate the shoulders of Cherry Bomb, and now probably dislodging one of her vertebrae with that kick. For the most part, Lefisto has definitely been in control of this championship battle. Hush 
comes over the crown as Lufisto chops the hell out of Cherry Bomb's chest. Cherry Bomb trying to protect herself by wrapping herself on the ropes. Look at those fists of fury and those headbutts to the chest. Pretty sure once was enough, Lufisto. Champions supposed to carry themselves with honor and dignity. She is, look, she's following the instructions of Nick Papa Giorgio. Ooh, straight shot right across the chest. Oh, that's getting a little high into the chin area there. Coming across the chest again with that third shot. Yes! Oh, get that super kick ever! Right to the chest, but Cherry Bomb's taking two on the cap. She's got her! Cover your one, two, and only a two count. A best super kick ever just about brought the championship to the Parks and Bomb Kingdom. Well, for another cover, but only getting a two count once again. The tide of this match has changed with that super kick. It was just one opening she needed, one opening to prove that she could take down Look the champion. vicious Cherry Bomb is. This is what we've seen her do in the last few months, get vicious. Ground and pound attack towards the conclusion of a match. And it's what brought her all the victory she's been able to obtain the last several WSU events that brought her to this matchup. Now Cherry Bomb sending Lufisto head first in that top turnbuckle. Cherry Bomb's got to follow up though. This is the edge that Cherry Bomb's always teetering on. And look how vicious Cherry Bomb is. Trying to choke her out and chopping her across the chest, dropping Lufisto down to the bottom turnbuckle, and now choking the life out of her with that sole of her boot. Hey, she's returning the favor from everything she took in the corner from Lufisto. And there's Cherry Bomb still shrieking at Nick Papa Giorgio. And just look how vicious Cherry Bomb is. She's dissecting Lufisto, that's what she's got to do to win that title. And now look at her, bend her in half. It's almost a rear naked choke assisted by the ropes. The senior official. I didn't know he held any weight around here. And Cherry Bomb now just chucking Lefisto straight into the canvas, standing tall over her. Oh, oh man, just grabbing her straight by the hair, sending her down. You know, this normally would be a smart strategy to just be vicious against a competitor. But you have to remember, she's in the ring with Lufisto, who has been in every death match possibly thinkable for a woman. So you're Most saying... Of, she's a tough woman, is what I'm saying. So what you're saying is Lufisto may have taken Cherry Bomb lightly, and now she's paying the price. Uh, maybe. But right now, Lufisto's fighting back here. Uh, look at those claws right across the back. I think, I think Cherry Bomb broke off one of her nails. Right. This is where Lufisto comes on. This is how she's retained championships. And Cherry Bomb looks out of it. Into a pinning combination, two and only a two count, as Cherry Bomb keeps her championship hopes alive. Lefisto though, she's got to figure out something to put away the challenger as she's wrenching oh, on the neck right God. now. I'm saying that, that rent, neck wrench is actually starting to muffle her shrieking a little bit. Oh, now she's trying to smother her. What? She's smothering her. Oh, that's illegal. That's no different than a choke. Oh, but Cherry Bomb biting her way out of it. That's just as illegal. Well, you know what? Oh, for that, best super kick ever, new champion. If she can follow up. A lot has been taken out of Cherry Bomb in the course of this match. Finally getting the cover one, two, and only a two count. So close to a new champion. The championship of Lefisto almost taken away from her. And look at the face of Cherry yeah, Bomb. For months, that has not been the outcome for Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb has gotten used to winning matches here in WSU with those best super kicks ever. Cherry Bomb, I don't, I don't know if she knows how to follow this up now. She's looking to ascend up top. This is not really a place that we've seen Cherry Bomb go too often. Not up here. She's up top right now with Lefisto. Uh oh. Cutting her off. Oh, what a toss from the top rope. A championship style slam off the top rope. Cherry Bomb getting caught. 
And Lefisto. And it's steam. Cherry Bomb just sidestepping it, dropping her down into that second turnbuckle. Cherry Bomb trying to get in her bearings back. Oh, oh missing with that elbow, that sliding elbow we've seen her use in the past. Oh, here we go. Oh, missing with the boot scrape. Uh-oh. This is a dangerous position when you're in the ring with Cherry Bomb. Yes, it is. It's not good at all. Oh, oh man, being crushed on that bottom turnbuckle. Missing out with that drop kick, setting herself up now for Lofisto. Both these women know each other's offensive maneuvers. Cannonball crushing the chest cavity of Cherry Bomb. What's Lefisto gonna follow it up with, though? Look at this cradle suplex. Dropping her right on her head, her neck. That's gotta be it, too, and what? Her vertebrae crushed, but Cherry Bomb still able to kick out. It's all those hours in the gym now are actually paying off, building up those neck muscles. This is looking for the Indian death lock, I think. Turning it over. There is that Indian deadlock. Cherry Bomb so far away from the ropes. Cherry Bomb has nowhere to go. How long could she hold on to this? The pressure on her knees and ankle. Got to be excruciating right now. Cherry Bomb's got to drag her body and Lopisto's weight all the way across the ring to try and reach those Pure ropes. Pure upper body strength shown by the Regina George of WSU. Look how strong it is. This is actually quite impressive of Cherry Bomb getting to that bottom rope. And Lofisto thought she had the championship retained. She thought she was going to walk out of here with the title. And Cherry Bomb smartly buying herself some time with those damaged is legs. It smartly? lofisto has got that crazy look in her eye right now. I don't know how much safer it was in the ring. Oh! Caught her. Right with Side that. of the head, I think. There it is. That leap up drop kick to the side of the head. We've seen Cherry Bomb use that in recent months as well. Oh, now Cherry Bomb has Lufisto up on her shoulders. Death Valley Driver! Going for the cover now, she might have her. No! Lufisto able to get that shoulder up. And look at Lufisto. Like I, I told you, she's been in tournament death. She's been in cage of death. It's gonna take a lot more than a Death Valley Driver to put her down. That weakened leg to Cherry Bomb made it slower for her. To, oh, Bernie Hammer! Bernie Hammer, look who else is out here! What the hell? What the hell is going on here? Rodriguez and Rochelle. Miss Rodriguez and Mademoiselle Rochelle have interjected themselves into the final contest. Come on, Papa George, you gain control here. Look at Lofisto, though, trying to wrestle that chair away from Madame Rochelle. Best job ever! No, not like this! This time not it's like gonna this. work! No, no, no! Oh. Yes! Yes! Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match and new champion, Sherry Bomb! This is ridiculous. Cherry Bomb has been handpicked by the office. Supreme tonight. Look at her husband. I think Pepper Parks is more happy. They need to book a cruise to celebrate this. We have is unique. We understand each other. No matter where my map, baby girl, I can trust you. By my side, whatever the chips is down. And never stress me when I say I'm going out of town. You know I do how I do and why I do it. You've been through it. You always believed in my music. Yeah, I play. Stay out late at night and spend dough. But you know that I know it ain't no place like home. And home is where my heart is at. I got your back. Through hard times when I felt you picked me up and put me back on track. Can always count on you. I know I can. You respect me and accept me for the man that I am. And I know it's not easy putting up with my bullshit. But I guess you love me so much and worth that bullshit. No matter what, you'll always get the best of me. You're the rib that God has taken from me, baby. You're my destiny, my backbone. the director of operations. Proud of her, proud of her manipulation here tonight. Mephisto brought this upon herself. 
Miss Rodriguez and Mademoiselle Rochelle. Well, now, now Sassy Steph barking orders, but <laughs> the orders are having no effect on Lufisto. And yeah, no, notice Sassy Stephanie's on in there. Look at Lufisto irate. Lufisto, stop! That's a skull you're hitting. Lufisto doesn't give a shit. Excuse my language, but that's quite frankly what Lufisto thinks. I can't blame her whatsoever. Lefisto, don't you dare. Lefisto is not about following people's instructions. She does her own thing her own way. Don't you dare. Oh, God. Lefisto, I will suspend you. You think Lefisto cares at this point? Oh, maybe that. I will suspend you. Do not make She doesn't care at this point. She doesn't. Point. Fisto is more focused right now on what's going on than what's going to happen. Well, blood was drawn on Lefisto first by the office, and now Lefisto's drawing blood on the office. Lefisto is looking to almost scalp. What? By Lufisto. Bill Carr now taking a beating from Lufisto. Right to the twig and berries. Oh no, who? What? what's going to be the most violent match. Saria, Mickey Knuckles, first time ever. The blood is going to begin to flow shortly. I, <laughs> I don't even know what to put this together. I know you're not going to say no to her when she issues the challenge. Oh, yeah, yeah, let me be the one to say, oh, you know what, Saria, maybe, maybe won't let the fans bring the weapons. You know what, maybe, maybe uh, I'll just put my foot down, and then what? Then I'll have that baseball bat shoved up my ass. I wonder if it fits. Uh-oh. Well, Nick, we already heard what Saraya Knight had to so say. She's so badass, she breaks mics just by holding them. This is a woman who has competed in deathmatch tournaments. Oh! oh! Ambushed again! Ringing the bell, I mean, is this false count anywhere too? I mean, is, if, if, if don't please. you make the rules? <laughs> well, it's up to Levin to enforce them. Oh, good luck with this one. This was one time I don't envy him whatsoever. Oh, this is the one time you don't envy him. Oh, well, I don't envy him every day of his life, but oh. What, is, what do we see, a kendo stick already? All right, there we go. Tojo Yamamoto style going to work on Moose's back. Oh, and the side of her skull. Oh. Another, another shot in the nether regions, just for good measure. <laughs> Already welts on the back of Mickey Knuckles. There are not nearly enough students out here. Oh my Christ! Oh. Sarita Knight, who traveled the world as having the meanest reputation in all the women's wrestling, 
Think of her as essentially the Fit Finley or David Taylor. I think that's of a great way. To, I think that's a great way to so describe hard Soraya. Suplex. And then you think about it. Around 2005, Mickey Knuckles starts making her name for nearly 10 years now as the baddest bitch on the deathmatch wrestling scene in women's wrestling. Not just death matches. Oh man, she's competed against men. IWA Mid South Deathmatch Tournaments. Total nonstop action. She's been everywhere. Perhaps getting the breaks that Sarita feel, or oh. me, Saraya feels she should have gotten. And you know what's the craziest part about all this? Is that even as well-traveled as Mickey is, as many violent matches she has been in, this may be her toughest challenge to date. Oh my God! That's what you're gonna do. Two women not trying to sell sex appeal. They're trying to spell the violent, sell the violence of this sport and they're doing it to each other right now. Although I do have a thing for Saraya. Yeah, she's gonna be careful right there. I don't know if she knows who she's turning around it to. Oh. oh my god, she just threw, she threw the keyboard at the point her right in the top of the head. Jesus Christ. And now we've got the staple. Give her a 20. Oh! That's what I think of the internet too. Oh no. Oh, she just stapled it to the side of her head. Oh. I'll tell you what, when you're in pain like that, when you're experiencing the pain of having a staple on the side of your head, how can you concentrate and possibly fight it? The only thing you could be thinking about is getting that staple out to relieve that pain. And that's, oh, you can't do that with your bare hands. You need pliers for that. And even that hurts like hell. Oh my God, Chris Levin is dead. Chris Levin gets pushed around more by the women than the men. You're a braver man than I. Yo, no, look finesse. at that. A group of men getting out of the way of these female competitors without second thought. Oh my God, just threw her right over the guardrail too. Tossing her like a sack of potatoes, but Soraya does not stay down. Gotta be Fights back, in fact. Gotta be doing the best that I can to call the action as they start to go out of my vantage point. It looks like Soraya is choking Mickey over the top of the guardrail. I want Soraya Knight around every WSU show. What is going on right here? Can we get some control, please? Offer her a cookie. That's usually how he settles things with people. We need more. I'm going to go get more security. Soraya Knight does not care about lawsuits. She does not care about legal ca calamities. She's just trying to cause any kind of riotous action she can. Mickey takes advantage of it, bopping her in the skull with that thumbtack lace bat, driving the tacks into her hair in the epidermis of Sarita Knight. Oh, raking it across the flesh, opening up some wounds. <clears throat> Heinously, once again, across the skull. Moose, mounting her, trapping her now with the headbutts, not allowing Sarita to escape, using her body to trap her underneath, causing some damage to herself in the process with those sickening thuds. I've been told we ran out of security, so the people here in Voice are gonna have to fend for themselves. Oh, oh my God. Man, rolling standing senton. Mickey Knuckles, five minutes in, they have just unleashed the hatred and violence towards each other. Oh. Mickey Knuckles got caught low right there, two shots. I think that one caught her in the face. Sarita, who is, Sar Saraya, I'm sorry. Don't let her say that, oh my God. I apologize in a heartbeat. Oh, now just laminating the skull with that thumbtack lace bat heinously. Sarita now, or Saria, Jesus. Just slamming Mickey Knuckles face first in that chair. Oh, just caught her on the back too. Oh, just slammed the chair right into her leg. Passionate. She's gonna try and attack her with that thumbtack bat. Just passionately and violently going at each other. 100% not yeah, letting up. Honestly, have you ever seen a match like this? Mickey Knuckles reminds me of like a female bruiser Brody. Cause she does not stop. 
She just keeps going. Now what is she doing with the stairs? She's got something in mind. Evil intentions. Now grabbing her with a handful of hair. She's got her in a headlock. When you control the head, you control the body. Got her with a punch for good measure. Now she's brought her over to those steps that she's moved away from ringside. I couldn't even begin to speculate. A suplex Serena, maybe. Though, getting the advantage now. Yeah, Soraya, Soraya. catching her with a number of shots. Jeez. Oh! Knight now sending her stomach first into there. Into those steps. That hard metal. Finally caught her with a baseball bat. Thank oh my wall God. Up in her, wailing across the body. How is this even legal? It's no disqualification. I'm talking about the law law. Oh, okay. Not just the law of the land here in WSU. WSU now laying the law tonight. With their, own, with their own version of violence, their own version of hardcore. Ultra violence, let's call it what it is. Yeah. TM. I mean, we're gonna see that. Oh no. We're gonna see that House of Horrors match later on between Joe Gacy and Matt Tremont, but they might have their work cut off from trying to top this. Oh man. Sickening. One of the fans brought a guitar? Yeah, playing the tunes across the brain. Oh, yeah, because you knuckles. Yeah, because you can't take that on a plane. You can't take that on a plane from England. You can't take a guitar on a plane from England? I don't know, I guess you could. I thought that was the number one drug mule technique in the world. Back in the ring, finally. Finally, but for how long? You know, just because there's only one. Oh, oh my man. god! On the side of her face! Swing it for the fence. Mickey doesn't even care! She's standing up, are you kidding me? Oh my god, she's shaking it off. Knuckles doesn't give a damn. Knight doesn't give a damn. Oh my god, and this is where Mickey is at her deadliest. Those elbows are so hard. Gonna think of Mickey's pedigree, where she was trained, who she used to wrestle with. Oh my god. Soraya, just at the nick of time, able to get that shoulder off the mat. So close, yet so far. Well, it's no disqualification. The official can't throw the match out if he's attacked. But who's going to count the pin if he is? Hopefully he just gets thrown out. X-Factor with impact. Give yeah, it a snap on her neck. Exactly. Still not enough to put her away. We know what Knuckles can handle. We know what Knight can handle. Oh. And that's why Knight sends her back to the outside. Not a safe haven at all, but a destruction zone. And now you wonder if whether Saray Knight's going to be looking to follow her to the outside or just try and shake some of the cobwebs. Saraya, though, not afraid to get under this fan's skin. Yeah, I'm Saraya's going to take it. After she's done beating up Mickey Knuckles, she's going to go fight the fans. And full of hair once again, totally legal in this contest. The meanest bastard in all of women's wrestling. And I feel like I can use the term bastard. And it applies. What are you going to do? Oh, hey, no. DDT, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh! oh! More impact on the neck once again. Uh, I'll tell you what, Mickey cannot keep absorbing these blows to the head. She's not human. The head and neck area of Mickey Knuckles has just been de destroyed by Soraya Knight. What? Who do you think you are, Tommy Young? I wouldn't do that. What? Well, the distraction proven to be beneficial oh. for Mickey Knuckles with that release style German suplex. Of all the times for this kid to grow a pair of balls. But Mickey Knuckles unintentionally there to save him. That might have been the one thing her and Knight could have bonded over. The destruction of people that who that try. unify countries. Yeah, the destruction of people who try and force rules that shouldn't exist. The WSU referees need to shut down. What is this? A table now. And Mickey's going to be trying to bring it back to the ring. Soraya already Soraya. up to a vertical base. Soraya wants it in there. She's not trying to stop her. She's telling her to bring it on. Oh, oh hard into the rail. Oh, and drop kick the edge of the table. Tempting to crack a rib. And again, oh, man, you're going to be really careful. I mean, that's, it goes without saying. That's where all your organs are. Your ribs are oh. there to protect it. That time, though, Knuckles out of the way. Soraya. She's really gasping for air right here. The damage was done already, but that could have been the final strike to put Knuckles out for good. Knuckles like a zombie right here. I don't think she knows where she is right now. She's had the wind driven at her. She's had the table driven into her. Oh! Another again. DDT. Head first, on the neck, compressing her vertebrae. 
and you said compressing the vertebrae, but what I'm concerned about here is a potential concussion and whether or not this official can determine whether or not she has a concussion and oh. whether she should be safely competing. Here we go. Oh, Knuckles can't even defend herself right now. Oh! Just unrelenting with those kendo stick shots. Swinging for the fences, daring Knuckles to get back to her feet and face her woman to woman, fighter to fighter. If I know Knuckles, she's not gonna stay down. She's just not. No, no, no. Harry Potter's getting called out too. Serena is insane. Serena Knight just doesn't give a damn about life. That's why she's so successful in the ring, but Knuckles now. Rallying back, second oh. win, third win even. Oh my God, caught her right at the base of the neck, and now on the shoulders. Assaulting her now. Yeah, Soraya down to one knee. Oh, oh man! Okay, that's, that's that's probably not gonna win you any matches, but a little bit of retribution. A kendo stick enema. That is gross. Soraya Knight now, oh, not a fan of that style. Favoring her behind, but now looking to get that table in the ring. Knuckles. It's almost like Soraya has oh, had man. tunnel vision since that table has been introduced. Oh my God, these open hand shots. You keep shooting, shooting those shots at each other. They might not have vision of all. You talk about tunnel vision. Now Soraya going after a weapon. She wanted that man's Mr. Fuji stick. I believe they call that a cane. Oh, okay. I didn't grow up on that term. Well, either way, Soraya with the advantage. Knuckles packed into the ring. But that table, that dangerous table in the ring, as oh. Soraya packing that cookie tray. Oh, Another man. shot. That, did you see the angle that that kendo stick bent at? Almost a full 90 degrees. Knuckles is out on her knees, and this is what Soraya is looking for to set up that table. I, th I think the fans here are starting to get a little bit uncomfortable with what they're seeing right there. Exactly honestly, what it is. honestly, I can't blame them. This is one hell of a co-main event for the evening. Living up to the hype without a doubt. Oh, I think they might have broken the table trying to get it in the ring. But that table though, being the buzzkill that it is, still gonna be a weapon that can be used efficiently. Oh, by Mickey caught her law. What is she gonna do? No. Oh, she's gonna try and slam her on the side and maybe turn the table over. Either way, she's fighting with the table right here, trying to get in a position. Mickey Knuckles though, Proven to be very resourceful, thinking on her feet. I think she's going fully on instinct. She sees a weapon, because she can't have all her marbles right now. She sees a weapon, and she goes on gut instinct. Yeah, imagine having muscle feeling. memory as it relates to, to deathmatch wrestling. Yeah, though. absolutely. That's what happens at that point in your career. Mickey Knuckles, though, a hard hitter. Impossible to keep down. Knuckles just driving her opponent lower back first into that turnbuckle. Now look for the Irish whip. Oh, Soraya yeah. just shattered that table. And did you see the way the table, the back of it hit Soraya on the head? The back of her head, she might be out cold. One, two, three. Only a two count. How the hell was Soraya able to take that impact? I thought that that was a three count. Fighting through like her career depends on it. She does not want Mickey Knuckles to have the reputation as the toughest bitch on the planet. Knuckles bringing her back up to her feet. Oh! Oh, and she just punched her. Fist We're talking about fist. Now. Yeah, exactly. Not the forearm, not the elbow. All five of your fingers balled up. Just trying to knock those teeth loose. Not trying to knock that jaw out of place. Oh. Oh, another DDT, I'm telling you. She cannot keep eating these blows to the head. Mickey's out at one. Mickey Knuckles, though, again, like we said, what does it take to beat her down? Put her down, pump handling up. The veteran, oh! impact into the pin, the leg is hooked. Got her, wow. Introducing first in the corner to my right, she is the challenger. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, this is j -Row, Jenny Rose. And her opponent to my left. Now residing in Dayton, Ohio, 
she is the current reigning defending champion super hardcore anime Lufisto. Well, this is sure to be a hard hitting contest. This is the night Jenny Rose has been waiting for for a very long time. She has been on quite the roll here in WSU. We've seen this woman grow up before our eyes, starting out as under another alias, leaving for Japan, coming back, defeating an icon in Mimi Shimoda, and now she's here to, for the big one against Lufisto. And Lufisto, she's, she's right for the picking. Lufisto's not right in the head right now after losing Pegaboo at our last event at the hands of DJ Hyde and Sassy Stephanie. Yeah, but you know what? Lufisto is the type of athlete, and that's why she is the most decorated female competitor the last 10 years in this sport. It's because she can handle situations like that. Yes, her best friend was dismantled right before her eyes, but she took it into her own hands, pulling a knife on DJ back at Deja Vu in Ohio, and she's not going to let that stop the momentum, keep it growing her world title reign here in Women's Superstar Uncensored. But WSU Championships at stake right now. Jenny Rose has the golden opportunity. Well, you could definitely tell that she's enjoying the Midwest food. I, I don't she's not a, she's not too sluggish. No, not at all. It doesn't look it. Jenny Rose, though, taking it right to Lefisto. Jenny Rose has the speed. Oh. Jenny Rose has the hunger. But I will say this, both women are well-traveled wrestlers. You're absolutely right. Extensive time in Japan. Oh, we got to cover here once again. Jenny Rose able to kick out before You're becoming three. a regular Gordon Soli. You're just dropping these gems. Well, that's what Or I Corey do. Macklin. You're one of them. Well, right now. Shoving these... contest. Going right to the right to the quad with that kick. This is Jenny Rose's biggest opportunity. She's wrestling here right in front of our announce table. Her family and friends from Philadelphia are sitting here. And what a moment it would be for Jenny Rose to walk away with the championship. But Lufisto isn't making it easy. Oh, Jenny Rose, head of steam with that clothesline, trapping Lefisto in the corner. Now using her full body weight to drive that shoulder into the midsection. Hooking the leg, but once again, not able to get the three count. And there's Jenny Rose. But she's staying on top of Lefisto, not letting Lefisto any time to recover. With the world championship on the line. What a way to cap off Jenny Rose's huge 2014 by deep crowning the Lefisto, the champion. And it's looking like it's going to become a reality right now as Jenny Rose is looking to fold Lufisto in the two right now. Not able to, but she smartly breaks the hold, and now she's got something else in mind, those hard stomps. She's staying on the world champion. Almost stunning this audience here. This, this crowd loves Lufisto very much, and they're stunned at what Jenny Rhodes has been able to do thus far in this match. Like you said, Jenny Rose looking to cap off, making it. If she wins this championship, the biggest year of her career by a mile. j Rowe is doing exactly what she needs to do to win this match. She needs to stay on Lufisto. She actually should start wearing down those knees because anyone that has watched Lufisto throughout the years knows that her knees are bad. She has weak knees. She needs to stay on those knees to win this match. Now, right now, go work on that spine, the head, the neck, the chin. Looking to humble Lufisto right now. Looking to take her championship, the most humbling experience she could have. And you know that's what'll break on her back. <laughs> and pulling the hair, too. She needs to stop focusing on, on playing around, and she needs to get serious if she's going to win this title. I think J Rose is to make a statement against one of the most ultraviolet women in the history of professional wrestling. But what's more important, making a statement or winning that title? That's the biggest statement of all. Mephisto hasn't really been able to get any ground on j Row here tonight. She should have kept her on the oh. ground. Oh, and Lufisto now building up ahead of steam. Coming back here, go for cover, one, two. But just not enough damage has been done to j Row right now. And there's Lufisto mounting and just driving those fists right into the forehead 
of Jenny Rose. That's what Lefisto is known for. Pounding away her opponent, making him feel the punishment. Laying in there. She's not afraid to do anything it takes to win. And here's Lufisto putting, putting her all that weight right on the shoulders, driving the neck into the mat. Right, the, driving the throat into the, to the ropes, I'm sorry. We know what you meant. Well, right now, driving that hand right across the chest of j Ro has Rose reeling now, looking for to get some cover here, but there's no cover when uh, Lufisto's on the attack. At that time. Begging her off. J. Rowe needs to do something right here to get the momentum rolling in her favor. As you know, though, it's hard when you're trapped in a corner. Absolutely. That's a series of headbutts. That one moment, though, that one second, everything could turn for you. Well, in one second, she might be knocked out if Lefisto connects with this. Oh! Driving those knees right to the face and looking to follow it up again. Oh! Oh, diving headbutt. Is that super hardcore anime into a cover here? One, two, and once again, J Ro getting out before three. There's Lefisto now regaining her composure, trying to think of another strategy to try to put down J Ro as J Ro attempts to challenge for that World Heavyweight Championship. Both women are just giving up ground at will. They need to put this hold, these holds on and really catch their breath, really gain, gain their, their composure. And neither one of them are doing it. They're just giving up on the hold and going to something different when they feel like something's not working. They need to stick to their game plan, get that breath, gain the composure to win this match. It's a sign of frustration when they give up on the hold so easily. Absolutely. Well, now Lufisto using those feet of hers, driving it right across the neck and the throat of Jenny Rose. Rose getting that rope to break up the, the maneuver. Now as a wrestler myself, I am definitely guilty of, of doing the exact same thing, but it's once you gain that composure, that's when you start to really realize what it is you gotta do to win. And Lefisto knows she's been in a lot of big matches, and like you said, you know what, maybe the whole issue with DJ Hyde, Pegaboo, is really riding on her shoulders. It's really on her mind. Wait a second, wait a second. Jenny Rose got in that waist lock. O'Connor roll. Well, that could be in. Cover two. Oh, she had it right there. And you can see Lufisto's almost lost in the ring right now as J. Rowe rolled her up again. But once again, Lufisto kicking out. Oh, back fist. Lufisto sending J. Rowe almost to the outside underneath that rope. Lufisto showing why she is one of the most decorated women in all of professional wrestling. Now it looks like Lefisto's ready to have some fun in that ring. So the smile come across her face when she realized that j Row was out of it. Well, she might be uh, envisioning j Row as DJ Hyde, Sassy Stephanie, uh, and the rest of that bunch. A vicious knees to the side of the head. Well, we Try saw this happen earlier with, with uh, Athena. She lost her composure. And yes, she might be focusing on the fact that this could be, or she's focusing that this is DJ Hyde, but this is Jenny Rose. This is the chick that she's trying to defend her title against. She needs to really get her head on straight. Oh, speaking of heads not straight anymore, what a kick. Yeah, Jenny Rose, <laughs> you seen two of them just though, in a moment. Lef Rose just has to use the guardrail just to get back to her feet. And Lufisto. This crowd split between these two women right now as Lufisto and Jenny Rose battling it hey. out for the supremacy of WSU on the outside of the ring. You gotta figure those J-Ro fans wanna be here for history. They wanna see a title change live and in person. But Lufisto sending J-Ro right into the guardrail and it's not looking good for the championship hopes of j Rose. oh! Crashing hard into that railing. Back and side of the ribs. J-Ro back in the ring. She can't win it Grab by count out. Grab her up. Grab her up. Jenny Rose, knowing what was coming, just got out the last possible moment. Come on, J-Ro. Put her, her in the out. ring. Put her in the ring. Instead, she's dishing out more punishment to the champion. She had every opportunity right there to put her in the ring and capitalize on this, and she's not. She's letting Lefisto 
gather her bearings and get her breath. Letting Lufisto dictate where this match is gonna happen right now. We all know she could take pain, but Jenny Rose can't. This is Lufisto's game. Jenny Rose has got to catch her by surprise. Going toe to toe with Lufisto says a lot about your courage and your heart, but I don't know if it's the best idea. Oh, Lufisto being sent right into the steel steps. And it looks like her knees, the bad knees yeah, you were about talking about that. earlier, connected with those steps. And I don't know if you noticed, but as one knee was going over, the other one was connecting with, with one of the trainees. So it kind of sent that knee into an awkward position. At least from my advantage point, it looked like that. I have to agree with you there. Yeah, and if that's exactly what happened, j Rogue has to take advantage of that one. But once again, j Rogue not bringing Lufisto back into the ring, and that might be a big, big mistake here. That is going to be the mistake. She needs to get her in the ring and capitalize on what damage she's already done. Put a hold on her. Uh, once again, it's the match of her career. This could be her big day, though. Right, she's finally is. getting her back in the ring. And it could be J Rose monumental event as J Rose scaling the skate zone here. Look at the fly. Oh, taking too much time, missing with that clothesline. And there's Lufisto now capitalizing. Those veteran instincts kicking in. Look at the power. Oh, oh no, dumping her. Going right for the cover here. One, two. But J Rose getting that shoulder up at the last moment, keeping her hopes alive here for a title reign. Look at Lufisto now. Trying to bring her up on her shoulders. Jenny Rose won't allow it. Lufisto sending Jenny Rose across the ring. Jenny Rose answering with that back elbow. Lufisto though going right to work. Look at the take. Oh wait, Jenny Rose taking it. Taking out Lufisto there. A huge side slam. That could be all she wrote. One, two. Oh. And Jenny Rose not able to put down the champion once again. She is shocked about this. She's, well, she says this is it. This is it. Is this going to be her big night or not? And she got it. Well, we've seen her take out many competitors over the last few months here at WSU. This was not it. No, oh. absolutely not. And Lufisto, she's ready for extra innings here tonight. Lights out. Oh, Look at the strength of Lufisto oh, sitting there with that power bomb. Done. 